Submerged in 1987, beneath the tranquil waters of the Kavali Islands off Matodi Bay lies the peaceful Rainbow Warrior. The actual morning of the burial of the sinking was very emotional for people. There was hundreds and hundreds of crafts, and I tell you, and some of these hard-nosed fishermen, even tears were running down their eyes, but she refused to sink. She refused, and it actually took nearly four and a half hours on a very clear morning off the Cavallis in 22 metres of water uh, that she finally said goodbye. And by the time I left there, small fish was on the, on, on the after deck of the, uh, of, of the warrior, and the Greenpeace flag was still flying in the current. A popular tourist destination, thousands of holidaymakers come in summer to take a break, go fishing, and to see the Rainbow Warrior Memorial and dive the wreck. As the years go on, the wreck becomes more significant. Uh, it's changing, and it's amazing. I think that uh, there is some parallel between the principles of the warrior in regard to defending the environmental status of the South Pacific. Uh, it was an honourable thing to do, to give it the appropriate conclusion of its life on the surface, it started it all over again. So it's become a, a real a garden of Eden, if you like, for the creatures under the sea they were vowing to protect while she was afloat. Although it was a controversial decision to submerge the wreck off Matodi Bay, the Rainbow Warrior has proved to be an integral part of their community. It gave uh, our people a spiritual connection, uh, not only to the efforts of the crew of the Rainbow Warrior and Greenpeace, but in fact to the waka itself, Te Waka Taua Aniwa Niwa, that is the Māori name for the Rainbow Warrior.